The highlight of the week, sponsored by Dave Frannick Auto. Looking for that first car for your son or daughter? Don't panic. See Dave Frannick. Extremely exciting. Um, obviously something that you shoot for when you get into the uh, field of coaching. Um, fortunate enough that I was able to stay in district at a place that I've been teaching after the past seven years in coaching. So uh, we really didn't skip a beat um, as far as the off season and, and getting the kids in the weight room because, you know, like I said, I've been on staff for the past seven years. Uh, so the kids are familiar with it, the parents are familiar with it, so it was an easy transition. Clearly, we're very excited to have Jerry on staff. Um, one nice thing, I mean, we had Gary uh, Andalina who's going to stay on staff with us. He's done a great job over the last five years bringing us back into playoff contention. Uh, when Gary took over the program, we were struggling a little bit. Um, and we've last two years have been able to make the playoffs. So Gary gave us the, the experience. He's a guy who's been around football for a long time. Uh, the transition we have now bringing Jerry on. Jerry's a hometown hero, part of our state championship football team uh, in 2001. And he brings a lot of energy and excitement and that youth to, to, the, to the program, which I think is going to help us get to the next level. And just talk about how you relate your playing days and the success you had here to the kids nowadays. Well, you know, listen, times are always changing. Um, the one thing, if I could stress to kind of keep it to the same to when I played, which is not too far removed to the kids now, is just continue to work hard. Uh, I know with technology and all the good things that are out there that the kids can get their hands on, uh, it's, it's not as easy to just go out there and work hard. You know, it's easier to stay in your house in the air condition in the summertime. So, you know, you got to lead by example. You got to be out here with the kids, showing them what to do in the weight room, get out here on the, on the football field, start installing what we need to, and, you know, to get ready for the season. And, and just talk about the pride that a on football has. You know, for a small town, you went on and played college ball. A bunch of guys did. Joe Martinick obviously did what he did at Rutgers. Uh, Zach Ray was a great player here. Go back to Dave Yovanovitz. Just talk about how a small town has had a lot of success in football individually and as a team. Oh, absolutely. You know, you, you, as you mentioned, a bunch of those names right there, and there, there's several others, uh, but it's not just football. You know, we got other big names like the Tobins in basketball and whatnot. Uh, like you said, for a small school, we do got a lot of high profile names that go on to make a name for this place outside of it. Uh, the one thing I could say about Opac on kids were tough. Uh, and that's one thing I'm going to continue to stress here is that our reputation is that we're tough and, and we need to remain tough, you know, with the future coming along. Uh, but like you said, yeah, a lot of, a lot of pride instilled in a small town. When you, when you live and grow up in a small town, you know, football being one of the bigger sport programs for your town, you know, of course you get the town support you and stuff like that. So, yeah, our kids are tough and that's something we're going to continue to try and strive for. I, I think it's pretty important. It's, it gives a sense, a sense of history. I think the community um, is involved in that. Um, uh, Jerry, like I said, has, has been a, a great player. He went out to college to play ball. So now we, when we talk to our, our, our seventh and eighth graders, sixth graders in our youth program, here's a kid who did it here, who, who's worked his way through the ranks, who played college ball, and is now going to take over our program. And, and I think there's a sense of a connection there. And I really think that's going to be something that's going to be a real positive influence on our kids in the community. And just talk about how cool it is for you to come here and coach at your alma mater. Oh, of course. I mean, it's one of those uh, you know, hometown stories that it's neat for anyone to go ahead and do that. Uh, you know, especially here at this place, a small town like Hopacon. Uh, you know, I live still in town. Uh, so I'm a citizen and a community member as well. So, I, I mean, it's good. You, you create close ties with family members and especially the players and uh, their parents. Um, and like uh, Mr. Barra was saying, as far as getting the connection with the younger kids, uh, you know, the most important thing is you're a grown kid yourself. You know, it's, I'm a product of this place. So you could sell that to the kids to, to get them to stay here and come on out and play some football. Um, obviously, you're the head coach. But you've been here for most of your life playing and coaching. What kind of philosophy are you going to bring to the program now? As I'm going to tell the kids, to tell the coaching staff and the parents, you know, bring your hammer and nails, let's go to work. You know, uh, Coach Andalina has done a great job of building a foundation here, uh, getting us back into the state playoffs the past two years. Uh, you know, our goal is going to be now to let's start building the first level. All right, so bring your hammer and nails, let's go to work. Uh, simple philosophy, work hard, play hard. And just talk about the Independence Division next year. It's such a tough division with sure. Mountain Lakes and North Warren's resurgence. Your thoughts on next season? Look, the, you know, I think the breaking up of the divisions uh, has leveled a lot of things out and our division is one of the toughest and it's a competitive league and you know week to week you know you're going to get into a battle and no game is easy uh, we do have a lot of good powerhouses in our in our division uh, but yeah every Friday night or Saturday afternoon you better buckle your trench straps and get ready to play ball. Just talk about the kids that you have them coming back we just saw the weight rooms packed the kids working out mm -hmm. getting ready for the season just talk about some of the guys you're going to be looking at and your goals for next year. Hey look uh, I'm a very fortunate guy for, for Coach A to be 
type of coach to, to, to resign, step down, and still stay on staff. That speaks volumes for a guy like that. Uh, you know, he's been my mentor. I've been under him now for the past six years. Uh, so to have a guy like that still stay on staff, that means a lot to the kids. Uh, so the kids are extremely excited. They, they, you know, they, they love this place, man. They love playing football. So yeah, it's packed. They're in the weight room. Uh, we got a bunch of kids returning. Uh, you know, we just got to work hard, and we'll see what the results. You know, find out on the field.